Now to a Fox 5 exclusive, an overnight gang takedown, and our cameras are rolling as it all goes down. Fox 5's Lisa Evers was there before dawn with the NYPD, and she has a story you won't see anywhere else. Abdullah, how will you plead to the charges? Alleged Fives League gang leader Abdullah Zika and other alleged accomplices were taken out of the 50th precinct in the Bronx to face a judge on multiple felony charges ranging from armed robberies to attempted murder. While most of the city still slapped officers from the Gun Violence Suppression Division, warrants and many local precinct detective squads gathered at an undisclosed location in the Bronx to be briefed on the case. Our Fox 5 NY camera was the only one allowed in. Gun in their head. Gun put to their head. That's how brazen they were. Over and over and over again. We have intel that there may be hundreds out there. Think about that for a second. You know, these are individuals that went into neighborhoods where they felt confident that incidents wouldn't get reported. As the officers head out, we need to get some extra protection. We're being asked to put on bulletproof vests because we're going after a crew that is wanted for numerous shootings as well as one murder and numerous attempted murders. Police say the 12 gang members charged, who range in age from 16 to 21, are known as the Fives Lees because they're from 175th Street in the Bronx. In this surveillance video, you see four alleged members, including leader Abdul Azika, open fire on a Bronx street. A mother has to duck and pull her two children down in order not to get hit in the crossfire. It's disheartening to see that we have um, essentially some adolescents that are the perpetrator of these crimes. This drill music video includes includes four alleged members of the gang, say police. The reckless shootouts with rivals are fueled by disses and drill rap videos, says Chief Jason Savino, who insists police are not against the music itself. Where I have to draw the line is when it incites violence. And we're seeing that, where we have a lot of aspiring drill rappers, and some go in a completely different direction and use their trade as a talent. But we have some that are clear, um, drivers of violence that call out and make fun of homicide victims. Bronx District Attorney Darcel Clark announced a 110 count indictment against the 12 alleged gang members for horrible crimes, including attempted murder, assault, weapons possession, and other serious felonies. We are really using precision prosecution as well as investigations to make sure we get the right individuals. And when you do that, that's when you will see a significant change. Police say this surveillance video shows how they brutally attacked a group of day laborers coming home. I'm a member of this community as well. I was born and raised here. I went to school here. Um, I still have family here, so this is extremely important for, for, for these guys like this to be taken off the street. We've seen time, time again, when we take down the trigger pullers, those that are driving crime, have the absolute goal to go out and shoot people. When we remove them and, and put them, quite frankly, where they belong, we see a drastic reduction in crime. Of course, the suspects are presumed innocent until they're proven guilty, but Chief Savino tells Tells us he believes his detectives have more than enough evidence to make their case in court. In Kingsbridge, the Bronx, I'm Lisa Evers, Fox 5 News.